Repeat the question again. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you picked, the, we, we said you picked the furniture up mm -hmm. and that's work because the force you applied is it going up and the furniture moved in the same direction that you, um, you applied the force. Yes. Now let's say you start walking with that couch or whatever. Is that still work? Yes. Right. I don't I'm, No. Okay. Cause, cause the force you're applying, the force you're applying is holding it up, you know? Yes. But then once you stop raising it any higher and you start walking with it, the force not is not moving in the same direction as uh, the distance. Does that kind of make sense? Yes. Okay. Does every, everybody else, let, let's try one more examples of those. Isaiah N, give me one example of work and then give me another example of something that might seem like work, but actually isn't. Okay. Uh, work. It works like carrying like your younger brother or younger sibling and having to like carry them because maybe they hit their leg or something. And then something so, that ca carrying them or picking them up? Like picking them up and carrying yeah. them. Yeah. So picking them up would be work. And then and then what was the next thing you were gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say something that may look like work, maybe like trying to move a car but it's not moving at all moving. yep good job that's a good example of the other kind of thing that's not work um so i'm gonna ask you a similar question i asked mina so once you pick up your your brother or sister and you're holding them and you start walking with them would that still be considered work yes because you're using your strength no no that that that's the, the tricky okay isaiah perkins you, you answered so this is a this is the tricky part and work in physics, it's a very specific definition. The force, so the force that you're doing when you're holding your brother and sister is you're holding them up. You're keeping them off the ground. So let me draw it. I'll try to draw it in like an arrow. Um, let me. So the force is up. Does that make sense, Isaiah P? If you pick them up, you're holding them up. But then when you're walking with them, you're no longer moving them up. Your force is still up. And when, when, so when you're picking them up, the force, F, is up. And the distance, D, is up. Like the, you're, you're moving them and they're going distance up. But when you're walking with them, your force is still holding them up. But your distance is not, you're no longer raising them higher. You're no longer going in the same direction. Your distance is in a different direction than the force. So give me, give me, I, I'll ask you one more question today, P. If I was, if I picked up an apple from the ground, no, don't, don't not pick, if I was holding my grocery bag and I was walking it out to my car, am I doing work by the definition of physics? I'm asking you, as P. Can you hear me, Isaiah? I asked you a question. If I'm carrying my grocery bag out to the car, am I doing work? And why? Tell me why I'm doing work. You're muted. Uh -oh. Okay, so basically, like you told us before in the definition, you're applying force to hold something up. But with a grocery bag, you ain't gotta hold it up the hill. You can have it like on your hand, right down here. But yeah. It doesn't it's matter where, it, yeah. But like once you're walking with it, you're holding it at the same height. Like your force is up, but the direction you're moving it is not up. So that's not work. I think, I think we get it. We're gonna go through a few more examples. I wanna get Charles involved. Um, Okay, so I have a situation and uh, a statement, and then I'm gonna have the answer, on, and I want you to tell me if it's work or not, and then why. So Charles, uh, how about you do the first one? 